guys, my name is Mark Bonner and I have been doing podcasting for a few years. The thing is, I've never really done a podcast in English. And so that's why I'm trying to do this English podcast. I have so many English speaking friends and I do want to interview them and other things like that. So if you enjoy my half Danish accent, at least I'm not talking like this, like every other Dane would. I'm talking more like half American, but not that British, really. No, I would like to speak more British in general, but it would be really nice. Yeah, it might. Yeah, it would be really nice, wouldn't it? I don't know. I love accents, I love dialects, and I can speak in so bloody many ways you want, mate. Right. I'll try to speak a lot of Scottish, but it's really shite. No, I'm just having fun here. This is my first episode of the podcast, so I'm trying to just make you enjoy it already <laughs> by me just having fun. No, but really, um, I wrote a few things down to just give you an introduction of what this is. Since I have a Danish podcast, it's called Translated Fucking Passionate with Mark Barner. So I'm thinking this is probably going to be called the same thing. And the reason why I did a podcast named like that is because I'm so passionate about so many things. Some people might call it ADHD. I just call it a superhero power. I'm interested in super many various things. And so um, I guess the theme of everything that I like is fixing something. So if it's your health, if it's your computer, if it's the society, or if, you, if it's your love life or your mental illness that you might want to balance out. And I have an Instagram profile called Mark Barner. And you can go check that out if it's the governmental uh, fix that I want to also be passionate about. I do have another Instagram profile called Mark Barner Freedom. So maybe that's something you want to go listen to or watch. Because I do share a lot of good tips on both of them. And um, yes, I'm very I'm very skeptical on, on the, the anti-corruption uh, one that I just mentioned. And the other one I'm very passionate about health, spirituality... Um, just um, like foods that we can eat and travel. So I started the profile traveling a lot and filming it, doing vlogs. I also have a YouTube channel where I share various tips. I have a lot of YouTube channels. And um, yeah, like one of them is called Mark Bonner. That's just my own personal one. And uh, pretty much all the things that I post on Instagram, I started posting recently with an AI um plugin or what do you want to call it like an AI service called repurpose IO that's no way an endorsement it's just the fact that I'm using that I'm trying it out to see and you know the podcast been published on YouTube as well so sometimes some of the Danish podcasts would be on there as well um, so moving on the other uh, the other YouTube channel I have is um, Mac Genie because I have a company called Mac Genie G-E-N-I, so M-A-C-G-E-N-I dot com. And I help people with IC support, uh, anything on their iPhone. Um, yeah, so many ways of helping people doing, just fixing their things, uh, hardware, software. Also have a company called Bonner Design, which is my last name. And then Bonner Design, um, just spelled like design. <laughs> and you can go to barnerdesign.com if you want to check out what I'm doing there. Um, in general, I think I tried to collect all those things, all my passions in just markbarner.com. So maybe that's the best place to start if you want to know more about me. But I'm going to try to introduce you to, with the help of AI, I just wrote literally a few, I think maybe five pages to AI, open AI, and I tried to make it sum up some of the things I'm talking about. I don't know yet if I'm going to call it this podcast Mark's um, like fucking passionate with Mark Barner. I'm, no, I don't, I'm not sure yet if that's going to be called that. I know just using the word fucking is really problematic in uh, being published on various platforms. So that's why I replaced the U with a star, um, making it F King passionate with Mark Barner. But that's kind of hard to search for if you hear about the podcast. And so I'm kind of like brainstorming on names now. So if you have a great idea out there, you're very welcome to send it in um, to me through markbarner.com. 
and um, let me give you a prize if you are actually come if you come up with a better name that the current one that kind of covers everything I'm passionate about. Well, uh, I would love to give you a gift or uh, any type of let's say maybe I exchange some of my services in uh, Mac Genie or uh, Barner Design as a thanks. I don't know what it will be yet, but uh, I'll reach out to you if you send me some information of what you think the podcast should be called. Maybe you already listened to the Danish one, and I'm not going to do the exact same uh, stories that I did on just I won't translate something I wrote down and then just do it in Danish and English, except if it's super important. But it's going to be different anyways, because I think my personality is actually different depending on if when I speak Danish and when I speak English. So let me try to begin this podcast by doing an introduction. Hi, I'm Mark Barner, not your average nerd. I find immense joy in exploring a wide range of topics and sharing my insights with you. My mission is to help you deeply discover yourself and foster self-love while striving for perfect harmony. My daily roles are entrepreneur, IT tech genius, educated multimedia designer, and I also mentor as a psychic intuitive medium. This role deeply influences my holistic approach to life, teaching me to trust the universe's plan, especially when it guides us through challenges meant for our growth. One thing is for sure, I am fucking passionate. Welcome to my podcast, where I aim to inspire or validate your current path. And if you at some point wonder why this music, jazzy, relaxing music is on, it's actually to counter my passion because sometimes it can be intense maybe listening to someone who is so passionate. That is even sometimes how I feel when I speak to other people, sharing something that I'm very passionate about. I see sometimes people just tuning out and not being here right now with me in my passion. So the jazzy music, I grew up with jazz because my dad used to play jazz. And that was just something that was always playing in the background, pretty much all we did after he came home from work. So that is why you hear jazzy music. And let me know if you like it. I do. I think it's groovy. Making fucking passionate with Mark Barner podcast is actually like a controversial adventure. A deep dive into myriad of passions that I, that kind of animate our lives, from sun-soaked streets of Spain where I'm right now, and to cold, freezing Denmark in the winter where I usually am not, <laughs> and I only go there when it's summertime and the sun is out. No, I go there many times during the year. I just love spending my time during the winter in Spain. I also talk about the cutting edge of technology from the depths of a personal struggle to the peaks of a spiritual enlightenment. This podcast is like an odyssey through the landscapes of my human experience. So if I can share my experience and what my insights are, because I really spend most of my time researching probably everything I can and then eventually gathering what I think I should share. But then I also collect a lot of the things that I find interesting and then I reshare them. So if you have an interesting video, you can always send it to me on one of my social media platforms. I would love to share it if it's resonating with what I'm already speaking about. So join me, Mark Barner, as I explore what it means to live authentically, passionately, and with a spirit of endless curiosity, whether we're discussing the transformative, transformative power of moving to a new country, unpacking the daily grind of entre entrepreneurship, or exploring the intricate dance of mental health and well-being. Each episode is a reflection of the myriad ways in which passion manifests in our lives, especially in mine. But fucking passionate isn't just about exploring the bright sides of life. It's about facing our shadows, confronting the challenges that shape us, and finding the light within the darkness. It's about asking 
the hard questions, whether we're debating in the nuances of masculinity, examining the decisions that define our health, or confronting the social the social pressure that shapes our choices. With a heart open to the mysteries of the universe and a mind eager to understand the complexities of the human conditions, I invite friends, guests, and experts to share their stories, insights, and wisdom. Together with them, we will explore themes of diverse and as, as spirituality is personal growth, like looking at your shadow sides, the quest for freedom, and the pursuit of happiness in a world that is constantly changing, especially in times like these where governments are pushing their power onto us and not respecting our freedom that we were born into. I would say that the podcast is more than just like a podcast. It's more like a movement. I'm trying to push a movement, reawakening souls out there who want to listen and who are missing some kind of insights to where they should go. And that's why I use my intuitive parts of me that I went to a clairvoyant school where I learned to become a medium, where I can see people's future and I can see their current path and their past as well. So this is super important to even know what the future is of someone. And future is only potential. It can be changed all the time. But anyway, it's a movement and it's about embracing the messiness of life, celebrating the journey or self-discovery and inspiring each other to live with purpose, love and above all, passion. So whether you're seeking inspiration, looking for guidance or just need in need of a good story, I think you come to the right place. You decide that after you hear a few episodes of mine. And if you have suggestions to what we should talk about or some guests that I should have in the studio, mostly the online studio, because I do use a platform where I can talk to guests nowhere, no matter where they are. So again, welcome to Fucking Passionate. If that's going to be the name of my podcast, at least you know what the passion and the intention of my podcast is. So if you want to embark on this journey together with me, exploring the infinite ways in which a passion can light up our world, welcome. I welcome you and I'm so appreciative that you're here. Well, let me share some of the categories I want to talk about and it's very wide. So whatever I say now will maybe change because it depends where my passion takes me. Or as some people would say, it depends what my ADHD would distract me with. So personal development and spirituality, exploring the journey towards finding one's passion, achieving self-love and spiritual growth. Discussions range from like overcoming stress and depression to embracing clairvoyance and the broader spiritual universe. I even dive into what my views of spirituality is and how the Bible can be dangerous as well as it's beautiful and amazing as well as the Quran and Buddha and other religions can help us but we should also have our skeptical mind with us understanding that these books were written by humans maybe with the word of God or gods or universe or whatever we are. So health and wellness is also something I'm addressing, both mental and physical health issues, from anxiety and depression to benefits of diet, exercise and natural medicine. Episodes also cover wellness practices like winter swimming. I want to call it cold plunge, but it is basically just <laughs> going into cold water. Um, and it's so beneficial. So exercise like yoga, uh, weight training, super important as well. If we only just all did this and see, I can not even stop myself from speaking about what is so important. If we all would just do 15 minutes of exercise daily, we could limit disease like probably up to 60 to 70%. So the same goes with mental, um, mental unbalancedness or emotional imbalance. Like 
just making sure that we spend time doing nothing and just get off our phones. Maybe spend some time alone. If that's going for a walk every morning or whatever it can be. It's so beneficial for our health. It actually can help us even understanding the way that our food is broken down in our bodies. It's broken down depending on how we feel. And how we feel is our emotions. And our emotions are very easily manipulated by how our physical health is. And our physical health is manipulated by how we're thinking. So how we're thinking can actually be, you can, you can even think differently just because your bowel movements are different, like out of balance, or if you have diarrhea, or you haven't slept well last night, or you don't get enough sleep. Well, all these things can end up being mental illnesses. And it can also give you some immune deficiencies. And so understanding all this is all connected. And that's why I think all my passions is in some way or another connected. I'm also going to explore lifestyles and relationships, offering insights into life experiences and advice on being a bonus parent. Because I have a girlfriend who has three kids and I have no kids of my own. But I did grow up with siblings, two siblings, a brother and a sister. Big brother, big sister. So I'm the last one, six years apart from my brother, nine years apart from my sister. And so many, so much of that, the whole dynamic of sister and brotherhood. And I actually like my siblings. A lot of people don't. And I found out that was apparently rare. But... Well, in some cases, I've heard. So I'm also going to talk a little bit about that sometimes. Um, growing up as a son of a doctor really gave me a lot of adverse effects towards medicine, making me more skeptical. But not only is my father a doctor, but my whole family on my mother's side, pretty much all of them are either nurses or doctors. So there's also that, and I want to speak about that because I do love them a lot, and I know they are doing their best to help humanity in their way. But I'm doing the same thing in, with a different approach. Um, yeah, so also things like managing relationships with ex-partners, overcoming loneliness, which I think is so important to, uh, to understand. Loneliness, is it's a feeling that passes through us, but it's not something that needs to be settled. We cannot be lonely. We can feel lonely because loneliness is not something you can diagnose someone with because it's something that passes through them. But if they listen too much to that emotion and they get stuck in it, like broken love or uh, any other emotion you can get stuck in, then potentially you will shorten your life or critically, and there's a high risk of shortening your life because you keep being lonely. So I'm going to share tools, tools along this journey of my podcast of how you can avoid loneliness and keep your focus on the happiness and even if you have anxiety which I also suffer from well I'm saying suffer but I'm not a victim it's my anxiety for example comes from or stems from a survival skill that I had growing up with a harsh dad that was very strict and physical violence and this taught me to be strong so my anxiety is me being strong for myself, but now I no longer need this survival skill because I'm, th I'm thriving. And so now I'm unschooling myself when it comes to that. Understanding my anxiety, instead of pushing it away, I'm trying to welcome it in, but that's really doesn't feel great. So it's very easy to run from an emotion like that. But when you have awareness why it's there, it's actually your friend. It used to be one of your best friends, but now you grew, grew apart. And it's, it's a way to part your ways with anxiety, but also welcoming it, accepting it like it was your best friend once. So um, there's also other things that I'll dive into, like the dynamics of a family and friendships, like how to be appreciative, how to be respectful. And like in general, a lot of empathy and a lot of moral. Not moral, I'm teaching moral. I'm speaking to the moral you already have installed inside of you. Not from your parents, but from when you were born. Mm -hmm. 
I'm going to speak about entrepreneurship. I did start my career when I was 23. Uh, that was my first company, but I actually started all the way back when I was around six or seven years old. I sold different creations that I did creatively for neighbors, and I even uh, mowed people's lawns. I did gardening stuff when I was like 10 or 12. That's how I made a living. Even though I didn't need to because I grew up in a family where I probably could, you know, just eat and live. But my father was somewhat, um, I wouldn't say cheap, but he really did, didn't grow up rich. And so he really cared for his money, making sure he didn't waste it. And he also taught me these values, which is somewhat annoying, but also wonderful at the same time. Because I learned to make my own money. I never was addicted to his money. When he gave, I, I accepted uh, most of the times. And as I got older, I said, no, thank you. And I'd rather do things myself. So entrepreneur, entrepreneurship and career development, sharing experiences as a self-employed entrepreneur, the challenges and rewards of freelancing and fostering creativity and innovati innovation in business. I would also share a lot from... Well, at some times, at least, I have a big Danish forum on Facebook that actually, I think it's the biggest or the second biggest uh, freelancing group in Denmark. It's called Freelancers, or just in Danish, uh, Self-Employed People and Innovative People. Um, I'll share it in the link some point, at some point. If you, if you aren't interested in some of these things I talk about and you want links or anything, always reach out. I'll, I'll love to share it with you. Also, I'm just going to uh, just share hobbies and interests, like discussing personal interests such as latest gadgets that I like, reading books together, mostly online books because, I mean, audiobooks, this is what I enjoy the most because sitting down with a book that is super nice and meditative, but I tend to fall asleep or get easily distracted. So that's, you know, it's a thing that I practice, but I've never done it much. But I would read more than half of a book a day on the internet. So, I mean, I'm reading all the time. And I would also engage you in hobbies that contribute to a well-rounded and fulfilling life. So it could be small things like, um, well, let me, let me talk about that in an upcoming podcast. I'm also going to talk about society and culture engaging with social issues, including critiquing of in critiquing the mainstream media in general. Uh, I don't think people should watch TV. I know it's bad for your mental health. When you step into the fear mindset, you will more likely just do what you're told and you won't have any critical thinking. Critical thinking is important. And the reason why is because if we didn't have that, as we evolved through Stone Age and times of the dinosaur or whatever, when, whenever we, uh, we were humans through millions of years, if we had a critical mindset or had critical thinking, we would question thing, things like, oh, is that flower edible? What if it's not? What is the chances of it being edible? And using statistics, knowledge like experience, or even um, analyzing using your intu intuition as well. So stuff like that is so important. Um, we're also going to discuss masculinity because it's a forgotten trade I think a lot of men has forgotten where they come from and what what really serves us like we would be better off staying calm in a discussion with our loved ones instead of going to a higher level of agitation or raising our voice masculinity is all about staying calm I know this because I used to do the, the opposite and as men of the world, we're the most divine women in the world that has so much to offer. They are literally giving life, birthing life. They have women actually have more brain cells than men. And I'm not saying they're smarter, but in some ways they're more intelligent on some aspects that we are as men. And I mean, we have to understand this, not understanding that we ha have to just then do what women say. No, we have to show boundaries because a lot of women need that guidance. They need that calmness. They need their men sometimes to say, honey, I love you, but that right now what you're getting into, 
it looks like you're sad. It looks like you need me. It looks like you should put that away and take some time off. Or maybe you're overthinking this or just giving them a hug or something like that. Like the old ways of men and women living was actually one woman had more than one man. When we look at this book called the, oh, I'll try to remember it later, but um, the dawn of, I can't remember it. Anyways, um, they found a study that found out that women used to live with more men back in the day because we were living in smaller societies and women needed to su- uh, uh, we needed to survive as a species so one woman would have have more men because at that point we did, didn't have farming we didn't have uh, agriculture meaning that we didn't need women to be around us all the time men was hunting or men were hunting and women was hunter gatherers as well and we would just have children together and that's also I, I could talk about this in another episode but that's why women have multi orgasms and men don't as often and that's why men get tired after sex whereas women often don't that i'll speak about why women are not great at par- parallel parking <laughs> and some people might get, get triggered but this is just based on science and experience um and why men know more or less how many yards or meters there is between one point and another by just looking at it. They can measure distance much better. It's because, of course, we used to hunt and it's in our DNA. There's so many things that's so um, inspiring and I want us to not forget where where we came from and who we are. I'm also going to explore the alternative alternative see i am danish alternative lifestyles uh, lifestyles and beliefs i'll try that again alternative lifestyles and beliefs alongside personal experiences of traveling in spain and denmark and the world confronting social expectations that's just some of what i um i thought i'd speak about but there are so many subjects and i would love for you to participate in some of it Again, if you know someone uh, that knows a lot about anything or is extremely passionate about a subject, I would love to talk to them. So if you want to share this podcast, I would be so appreciative. And if you have a better name for this podcast than fucking passionate, then uh, let me know. Again, you can find me on Mark Barner on Instagram. You can find me on markbarner.com and so many other places on the internet because i am as you know very passionate and so many talks i will look forward to having not with you i was about to say with you but in your ears and i'll i'll share my best stories and i'll i am an extremely open person i'll share a lot from my life and i strive to become authentic And I hope that you will be inspired by that, by putting your fears away and allowing yourself to be more authentic. Because if you do that, you will realize that you will attract more people who are like you, that is vibing like you are, on the same frequency as you are. And who wouldn't love to be around people that is the utmost frequency vibrating as you? (laughs) I don't know how to put it. But, I mean, you would also attract people who are the opposite of that just to trigger you and find out if you let go of your past as well. So, it's really a healing journey, all that I'm sharing. And I hope it inspires you. It motivates you, maybe. It does motivate me. So, if you enjoyed this introduction to my podcast, I would love to hear from you. And um, until then, stay passionate and I'll, uh, I'll... Not talk to you, but I'll see you, hear you, feel you in another episode. Take care.